So I've had this Tony Hawk 2 race for about a week or so now. Uh, I did a review video on it, and I also did a video where I compared the original connector to using an XT30 connector. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll put a card right up here for it. Uh, in those videos, I mentioned that I might try to put these Avon 2.3 inch props on here, and I got some pretty positive feedback saying you guys wanted to see it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, on these rear props, I don't think I'm going to have to do any modification, but let me get these props off real quick. They're pretty tight. Okay, so let's take a look and see what it's going to take to get these props on here. So for the rears, I believe I'm not going to have to do anything. It's super close to the canopy there, but it doesn't touch. And... And it doesn't touch here either. Now, these props are about as close to each other as they can get without touching. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to hit when this thing's in the air and things are flexing, so this might end in disaster, so we'll see. Now, on the front, things are going to be a little bit different. If you look here, this prop touches the canopy right here, right at this little rib right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this out, and I'm going to take my Dremel. I'm going to go out to the shop, take my Dremel, and I'm just going to trim right there and right there, and then we'll get these props put on. And I'm going to have to use prop screws for these because the, uh, the hubs are a lot looser than they are on the stock props. So I'll go ahead and get that trimmed, and I'll get these put on, and I'll be right back. All right, well, it's not the most elegant job in the world, but the blade's clear. Now, like I said, these props are super-duper close to each other, so I'm not entirely sure if they're going to touch or not. But um, I have had about a dozen flights with the stock props, so I'm pretty familiar with how this thing flies. So let's go ahead and get it up in the air, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so here it is flying on these 2.3-inch props. Um, first thing I want to mention is it's pretty amazing to me how close things can get together without actually hitting. In my mind, it's like, you know, this thing flexes when it's flying and the props are flexing and I would think things would smash into each other. But I've flown this about a half a dozen times on these 2.3 inch props and so far I haven't really had any issues with it. Now, I also haven't really seen much advantage to it. I am not the most sensitive to minute little changes in handling characteristics, but... In my opinion, it flies very similarly on these props than on the original props. Like I said before, there are a bunch of other things that come into play. It's not just the size of the props, it's the shape, it's the pitch. This is just what I had to work with, and so if there were different 2.3 inch props, you might run into different results, I'm not sure. But in my opinion, with this setup, I really don't think that there's much advantage to switching to these props over the stock ones. I'm going to be going back to the original ones. And you can experiment with it. You're not going to hurt anything. And you may be more sensitive to things than I am. And you may find that you think these 2.3 inch props are amazing compared to the originals. Another thing that I noticed, and I wanted to get some audio of it flying, but unfortunately, for some reason, my audio recorder wasn't working when I was doing these flights. I actually got another one ordered. But... Because these props are so close together, and they're so close to the canopy, it's a, it's a little bit louder. It's actually quite a bit louder than the stock props are. You get this kind of buzzing, high-pitched whine noise. And I've noticed with other quads, whenever I get the props really close to things, you get that noise. And it's interesting, they actually used to make sirens that way, where they would have a, a drum that would spin with, with slots in the drum. Those slots would be very close to holes in a, another drum. And that interference between those two would cause a high-pitched noise like that. And that's it's a similar effect that you're getting here. It's the air being chopped over and stopped by a, a, an obstacle like that. So it's louder, too. Now, So for me, I'm going back to these stock props. All right, guys. Got some cool stuff coming up. If you want to see it, subscribe. Hit the bell. Thanks for watching.